the negative team has provided literally no reason for why an assault weapon ban would be bad, right? You should err affirmative if you think there's even a risk of offense, and I don't think the negative is winning enough of a solvency takeout for you to vote negative on presumption. We have multiple arguments that, like, indicate that an assault rifle ban would be beneficial. In my opinion, arguments about how other guns are just as lethal are false. Look, I'm no expert, but assault rifles are generally easier to use, more accurate because they have a more stable shooting platform, have higher capacity magazines, and like are much more lethal than handguns. This is a conceded MG argument. Next, the most conservative estimates are that assault weapons are responsible for, you know, about 48 murders per year. Some of those 48 shootings may not have been fatal if the shooter had used a handgun instead, don't you think? If even one life would have been saved as a consequence of an assault weapon ban, I think you should vote affirmative. I may be wrong, but their claims about a lack of statistical significance don't function when the app has a risk of a net benefit under an offense-defense paradigm. Two is that I think the studies they cite are at least 10 years old. A is that their studies don't account for the fact that mass shootings have like more than doubled since the 1994 federal assault weapon ban expired, right? This argument has been conceded since the PMC. The B is that this means there is, you know, at least a chance that an assault weapon ban has some positive effects, especially because assault weapons are more lethal and cause more casualties during mass shootings. I'm not sure, but the number of deaths at Sandy Hook might have been cut in half if Adam Lanza only had access to pistols with limited capacity magazines instead of semi-automatic rifles. The three is that they say assault weapons are impossible to define. A is they have sort of conceded the MD argument that, like, the gun features that are banned are like what make assault weapons more lethal in the first place. For example, pistol grips and telescoping stocks make assault weapons more accurate, don't they? B is that I'm pretty positive that even if gun manufacturers still make high capacity weapons post plan, those weapons would at least be less effective compared to the status quo, right? The B is that they say there would be too many guns sold illegally on the second hand market, but an assault weapon ban would at least make it more difficult for shooters to access these weapons. If a shooter thinks that it would be too risky or too much of a hassle to legally acquire an assault weapon, isn't there at least a risk they would buy a handgun instead? I might be wrong, but that's offense because handguns are less lethal.